Mortal Shell has just released a brand new DLC which adds a roguelike mode, a brand new shell and a brand new weapon. Today we're going to go through hard earn the new shell, some things you need to worry about as well as how to unlock it. Let's go. This video is sponsored by my new merch store, Norza.store. If you like a shirt like this, you can go to Norza.store and buy yourself one and use code LAUNCH10 for 10% off any purchase that you do make at the store. The link will be in the description down below. Now let's move on. First things first to unlock hard earn. Basically, if you're playing from an existing save file, all you really need to do is boot up the game, go to Fulcrum Tower, and he will be there. But how you actually unlock him is by beating him with the three other weapons. So when you go to each of the main three areas and you have the weapon there and you have to go and unlock the weapon from him, you ba it's basically a boss fight where you fight him. In those sections where you fight him, once you've beaten him the three times and you've got the four weapons, then he will just appear at Fulcrum Tower and and you'll be able to fight him again. This time when you fight him, he will have the Axe Katana, which is the new weapon that they have added. Now with this weapon, because it has two different I guess modes or attack modes you have to beat him twice so you beat him once he'll go down and then he'll come back up and he'll change the weapon shape and then you have to beat him again it's rather annoying if you didn't know that was coming and you had very low health when it happened as a quick side note if you are trying to unlock hard earn in the fortuitous circle the roguelike mode you do have to earn an instinct from the pillars with each of the different shells and then you unlock hard earn in that mode and you can use him in that mode now, after you've beaten him and you've unlocked the shell, you have to learn the name of the shell, even though we kind of know what it already is, but then it will become a normal shell and you'll be able to unlock its different abilities. Hard Earn is a very different shell to the other shells in that a lot of his abilities are actually giving you the opportunity to choose an ability from one of the other shells or just choose something else. Or It gives you multiple options really, and I hope that in the future they go this route with other shells in different games. But basically, you get to pick one ability ability from the other four shells. Now this gives you a ton of opportunity because there's, you know, four shells to choose from and they all have different strengths and weaknesses. Now, because there is so many different combinations and how you can have all of these different abilities interact with each other, there's a lot of variation in what you could try and make. And a really good idea is just to play around with these abilities and learn different ones. Something to note though, is that when you do unlock these abilities to pick the other abilities, you first have to use your glimpses and tar to unlock that ability and then use your glimpse and tar again to actually unlock the ability from the other shell if that makes sense so you're basically paying the tar and glimpse twice and then if you, if you do want to change it later which you can you just pay that second tar and glimpse cost again and you can then change your abilities with hard earn the four main abilities you want to get to start off with is the ones that give you the different shells so the accretion of foresight the accretion of yearning and inheritance and ascent now when you do pick up these shells there is plenty of options that you could really pick because you can pick any of their abilities what i have decided to do with all of these is basically focus on killing enemies so with the tier one i have gone with on killing an enemy teal gains a buff which poisons enemies on hit and you lose this buff when you do get hit as well as with eridan to gain the execution stack upon killing an enemy each stack increases the base attack damage by one so every time you kill an enemy you get a buff which increases your base attack damage by one this stacks all the way up to 100 and once you have gone out of the shell you will lose those stacks with the solomon i have gone to gain a small amount of resolve when you're being struck while hardened just to give me more resolve so i can use more weapon abilities and i have lowered my hardened cooldown because I mean, you want to use Harden all the time, so it's just a really good ability to have. With the other abilities with Harden, you get to choose as well. So with Accretion of Endurance, I have chose to increase my max health up to 10. You could go Stamina if you wanted to focus on that or Resolve or Tar Gain. And that's one of the benefits of Harden is that you can really focus on any of these options. If you want to be more like Teal and have higher Stamina, you can choose Stamina. You want to be more like Eridum, you can go Health and same with Solomon with Resolve. For Accretion of of resolve i have gone the ability for harder to only use one resolve when activating a weapon ability because the weapon abilities are so powerful and it makes you a little bit more like solomon and with knives or kick i just went kick because i'm used to kick but you could really you could really go either hard earn as a shell is very similar to harris in that he has a very broad set of abilities so his resolve is pretty standard he's got three you've got a decent amount of health you've got a decent amount of stamina you don't really excel in any one category you do have a solid amount of base to start from and because of that it gives you the ability to really use any of the weapons pick any of the abilities from the other shells and play however you like you know you could pick up 
Eridim's ability to have extra HP, or Teal's ability to sprint without stamina cost, or even lower your stamina cost by some of the other abilities that you have. There is so much flexibility in how you can play Hard Earn, and I would almost say that he's probably the shell that you should just play at regardless because of the flexibility. The others do have their own specialties that they can focus on, but because you can kind of pick up whatever their best ability is, you can just play as Hard Earn and have the four best abilities from the other shells, and then you can just kill everyone around you. Now, in terms of your weapons really because you don't really excel or fail at any one particular thing you can use anything although some of the weapons like the martyr's blade and the smoldering mace that do have a high stamina cost may be worth not using because of the high stamina cost and you don't have such a large amount of stamina like teal although because they do have such good abilities and you do have a decent amount of resolve it isn't a bad idea to use them i have been using the martyr's blade when i've been playing around with hard earned and having pretty decent success when you do unlock hard earned you do also unlock the axe of now, when you do get this weapon, if you are going to use it, be mindful, you will need to upgrade it with Quenching Acid, the same as your other weapons. It will be at level zero and do very little damage when you first start using it. And if you're going to start using this in New Game Plus, it's going to take you a long time to level it up. So it's a, probably a good idea to go and farm Quenching Acid first, then level it up and then try and use it. It's a decent weapon from what I played around with it. It seems a little bit weak in both of its forms, but the downside of that is I haven't actually fully upgraded it to level 10, like I have all of my other weapons. So it's hard to really gauge its strength though it is a fun weapon to use and I do like the flexibility it reminds me of Bloodborne in how that you can change its weapons forms and the final tip is why not check out my mortal shell tips video or my combat video that went live last year when the game came out that goes through a ton of really valuable information that you should know about this game I may make a video on the road like mode depending on how complex it is I have played a little bit I haven't played tons yet but we will see how we go please follow me on Twitter Instagram and on Twitch where I stream two days a week Tuesdays and Thursdays Australian night times hope to see you guys there in the next stream thank you for watching this video my name is Norza and I hope you have a great day